And the president's call for new growth engines to shore up the export driven economy comes as the IMF cuts the country's growth outlook for this year again. The concern behind the downgrade is China's economic transition. Quan Zua has this report. It's the third cut in the space of a year. The IMF has lowered Korea's growth outlook for 2015 to 2.7 percent, down 0.4 percentage points from a forecast in May and July. Next year's growth was slashed by 0.3 percentage points. Both cuts are bigger than the IMF's forecast for global economic growth, which was cut by 0.2 percentage points for this year and the next. Korea's growth forecast looks bleak as exports are continuously posting negative growth and domestic consumption remains low. Economic woes in Korea, but also across the world, are being fueled by slow growth in the world's second biggest economy, China. IMF's chief economist says China's economy is going through a transformation. He added China is focusing more on domestic consumption and services than on exports and investment, which will help growth in the long term. But in the near term, there are implications for China's growth and for its trading relationships with foreign countries. Korea, shipping around a quarter of its exports to China, is no exception. Concerns in Korea are especially big, as compared to other emerging countries and the entire world. There are not that many reliant on exports, as much as Korea. Experts say, considering bleak domestic economic indicators from September and October, it'll be difficult to reach the government's 3.1 percent and the Bank of Korea's 2.8 percent projections, meaning there is a chance of yet another downward revision later this year. Kwon Soa. Arirang News.